Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we are going to talk about how to get paid to speak even if nobody knows you. So this applies to everyone, right? I mean, Neil, what happened to you when the, your very first days of speaking? How did that happen for you? Yeah, my very first days of speaking, I would go out there and I just applied to a ton of conferences. My first speaking spot was at a conference called Search Engine Strategies. I applied, created the presentation. Eventually they selected me and then I spoke. I was really nervous. But after that, you know, I got used to it. And then now speaking, I just kind of do every week. And I didn't get paid at first. I paid for my own expenses, travel, hotel. But I found something that was quite interesting. I was hanging out with a guy named Adam yesterday, who is a YouTube marketer. And he was telling me about his brother, a football player, went to Harvard, right? And now he specializes in sales training. So he like spoke at places like Goldman Sachs and events like that. And they all pay him. 15, 20, 25 grand for speaking gigs. He doesn't necessarily have a profession in speaking, but the way he did it, and I thought this was really interesting, is he hits up all the speaker bureaus and they add him. And eventually some of them will hit you back up for paid speaking gigs, even if you don't have recordings. The other strategy he does, he'll write books, self-publish them, and he mails them out to all the companies and people that he wants to be hired from for paid speaking And that helps him get inbound inquiries. And I'm like, wait, that's a very simple strategy. Hmm, That's smart. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, I think if you get to that point, definitely, like if you write a book, things like that, definitely think about distributing them them out. And I think it definitely adds a lot of, well, again, going back to credibility. But the same thing as Neil, right? Like when you first start out, you know, reach out to people, reach out to conferences that you want to speak at. Think about different levels, right? Like, sure, like, you know, people are getting paid 20, 30 grand a pot to go speak out there. But you got to start, like, when I think about Gary V, he had this one uh, video where the first speaking gig that he did, like the first paid speaking gig, he wasn't even sure what he would get. So he was like, oh, you know, just pay me, you know, $5,000 or something like that, right? And then, you know, they easily just said done, right? And he's like, damn it. And then, you know, now he's collecting, you know, upwards. He can get up to the six figures, right? Yeah, I think it's 100 grand for US, 200,000 for international. Yeah, but th- that was for his first paid speaking one. And he was really surprised, right? But he's, you know, you got to start somewhere, right? Like, for the most part, you know, if you're reaching out to people, you are probably going to have to cover expenses initially. And then eventually you don't get, you, you know, they're going to cover your expenses and eventually you start getting paid for it, right? So I think it's important to start to think from that perspective where everyone's at diff- different chapters. But I like just making a list of, of places where it makes sense, right? I know that recently Brian Harris, that's B R Y A N. Harris, Brian Harris came out with a tool to help you get speaking gigs and it's free right now. And there's a lot of different, uh, you know, entrepreneurship, fitness, marketing, you know, conferences all in there. And that can help you organize, you know, kind of, you know, your targets for the next year. But I, I, I do agree that uh, it, it's important to make like some kind of prospect list in the beginning and just start reaching out. Yeah, you can go to Upwork. You can actually hire telemarketers for pennies on the dollars, like 30 bucks an hour. Uh, I know that may sound expensive, but you only need them part time. And you can just have them do a ton of cold outreach. It works. It's cash flow positive. Uh, the other strategy I learned, and I learned this from a speaking agent, is there's conferences out there that are really popular. Some of them, it's worth speaking at for free to build up your name and your list uh, and your credibility and portfolio. Then from there, you can then use that to pitch other people for paid speaking gigs. And it's a really simple strategy that's effective. But consider doing some for free. And they don't always have to be you giving a speech. It can be a Q&A. It can be a panel. Eric and I did a, event, a speech at Nextiva, which is a voice over IP solution. And our speech wasn't really you know, us presenting slides. It was more so us sitting down on a couch and just talking, kind of like how we do right now on this podcast. Yeah. So, Neil, at your first speaking gig, I mean, how did that story go for you? Yeah. So I spoke about, I believe it was Wikipedia. I didn't generate any customers from it. It was at search engine strategies. I didn't generate any, you know, revenue. My cost was a few thousand bucks. Ticket was for free to attend the event, but I had to pay for the flight and hotel. I did a few more for the next few years for free. And then eventually I just started hitting people up and be like, oh yeah, um, I'll speak, but I'll cost money. And that was a really effective strategy. 
and it may sound like weird being like, wait, you'll hit people up being like, oh, I noticed you have some speakers. I'll also speak and I'll do it, but I want money. It's like, it works. The thing I learned is if you go to any speaker bureau site, you'll see a list of all their paid speakers. Go see where those people are speaking at. That means those conferences are paying for speakers. Hit them up and there's a chance that they'll also pay you as well. Great. And how much did you charge for your first speaking gig? 5,000 bucks. 5,000 bucks, just like Gary Vee, right? So you all got to start somewhere. I thought I was rolling in the dough. I was like, yeah, I got 5,000 bucks. And then I kept charging 5,000. And I'm like, ooh. And then someone's like, why don't you charge 10,000? And I just started throwing that. I'm like, wait, this closes. And then from there, I'm like, why don't I just charge 20,000? Then it went up all the way to 50. Yeah, and that's a really good lesson, not just for speaking, but for any kind of service where you're kind of trading your time at the end of the day. Just think about how can you how can you increase your prices and you'd be surprised at what happens. I think a lot of people are just resistant at doing that, especially the the creative people. Um, so that's it for today. But if you want to check out our giveaway, just go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to learn more and we will see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.